Even though things might start to sizzle, well, the work still has to get done. And the heat doesn't make things any easier. Fox Hope's Kendra Kent spoke to those braving the heat and offering reminders to stay safe. Yeah, if construction work isn't already hard enough, these extreme temperatures can certainly make it more taxing. Now, it is nice and comfortable outside. It's a little breezy for the crews working on I-205 here. We're just off of East Burnside. But there are going to be plenty of folks who are going to be out working in the heat of the day tomorrow. When the temperatures soar, this work doesn't quit. They need to make sure they know the signs of our heat related illnesses out there. Because in construction, this is the busy season. This is very dangerous work and it gets even more dangerous when you get the hot weather like this. Thermometers could hit 98 degrees this week as we expect record breaking temperatures for early June. That's why ODOT is reminding its construction crews to stay safe. They need to stay hydrated. They need to make sure that they wear good, loose clothing that keeps them cool. And we're reminding them to sit down and cool off if you get too stressed out there in the hot weather. And there's plenty of others working in tough conditions year round. Oh, I'm definitely going to be working tomorrow. I've got commitments. Ronald Curtis has worked outside most of his life in Portland, and he's the first to say he'd take the sunshine over rain any day. But even the toughest have a limit. If it's over 105 degrees or something, I just don't work. I just say no. That's the beauty of working your own business. Still, in all of this gear, he's no stranger to heat. You, you get used to it when you're you know, when you've got to do it every day, you just do it. Curtis's advice, make sure you put back what you sweat out. I throw a chunk of lemon in a gallon of water. And I just take it with me and keep chugging it. And something else you want to put in your work bag tomorrow, sunscreen. Experts recommend you use SPF 30 or higher, and you're going to want to reapply it every two hours. Reporting live tonight, Kendra Kent, Fox 12, Oregon.